The film festival really got started when our family went out to Sundance and went to experience our own first film festival and came back and said, boy, Cincinnati needs one of these. And the question was, what are we really going to do with it? And the idea was to celebrate this human spirit. Well, anybody that knows Jack knows that he's never short on ideas, but this was an idea that was burning from the very beginning after Sundance. The Open the Ryan Film Festival is really set apart from not just art offerings in Cincinnati, but anywhere in the world because of its intentionality around diversity and disability and inclusion. We're not only talking about individual freedoms and stories about the human spirit, we're talking about a community spirit. And that's really how the film festival began. Moving from Real Abilities, which was completely focused just on people with disabilities, to expanding this into looking at di diversity and inclusion as a whole, means that it gives us an opportunity to kind of place disability within that larger conversation. And since it's become the OTR Film Festival, I know that one of the concerns that both Ladd and Jack Geiger had is to make it accessible uh, and make it inclusive and diverse for a lot of different populations. We live in a world right now where separation, distrust is so, is, is so, is so prevalent and what Jack is doing is driving in our community, which impacts all the people here, our region, um, the differences that people bring, and the importance of appreciating that. As a member of the LGBTQ community, uh, that hit home with me because that was definitely one of the areas of inclusion and diversity. The industry is spending a lot of time right now looking at different kinds of initiatives to support, making sure that there are more opportunities for women and people of color in the film industry, but in just part of that discussion, disability is not really fo not a focal point. I believe this festival, and again under Jack's direction, our push is to make sure that we go out and we start, start having more of those conversations and we make sure that people really get a sense that disability should be a part of that. And the best way to do it is to start by showing great films here. The importance of the film festival to Cincinnati is, I think, it gives us a vehicle and a platform for us to understand each other, for us to understand each other with empathy. And in order to do that, we have to be able to put ourselves in each other's shoes. Well, Jack Iger is the classic uh, servant leader whose actions speak louder than his words. He's in the trenches, he's putting the time in, and he's not looking for the limelight. He has a warmth about him that uh, people pick up on right away, which for what we're doing is so critical and so important. I honestly believe that we want to be able to talk to each other. Sometimes we just don't know how. Uh, and so if we're able to see each other more effectively, then and we learn how to talk to each other and how we want to be spoken to, uh, then you know the whole world opens up because we're able to share with each other. I see Jack almost every day when I come here, and he is so nice, and I'm down, he's very down to earth. His beliefs, his values, he lives them, he demonstrates them, he speaks them, it's who he is.